Welcome to Komodo Certificate Manager's Green Card Series. This time we are going to show how new CCM feature Identity Provider integration works. We will omit all technical configuration aspects and will show only key CCM steps. First of all, we will login to CCM Custom UI as standard user. Pass to Admins. Here is the list of registered users. During login to CCM via IDP, new user will be created based on special template and will be available for editing here. That's why we need to create special template user, which defines the roles and the set of permissions for all new IDP users. Let's create template user with role RIO admin SSL for organization advanced and privilege allow editing of admin users. Now we see that IDP template user has appeared in the user list. Let's log out to show how it works. On the login page the link for login with IDP user has appeared. But first of all let's check IDP database. We use a pipe directory for this. Here is the user which we are going to use for login to CCM. Login passed successfully. As we already mentioned above, if user login to CCM at first time via IDP, it will be created silently based on roles and permissions defined in template. Here is new user has been created and he has role and privilege the same as template user do. Let's log out. In case of any changes on IDP site occurred, they will be passed to CCM on next user login. Let's change attribute email in IDP database. Let's login to CCM with this user and check if attribute email has been modified there also. You can see that all changes made on IDP site now available on CCM site also. Now we are going to show how IDP configuration works on Komodo admin site. This section is not available for customer. We will begin to CCM administration UI. Pass to settings, IDPs. There is identity provider registry. All configured and registered IDPs are present in this table. Assume that new IDP has been configured in service provider and ready for registration on CCM site. To add new IDP, simply click Add button and input the name and URL. The name will be shown to user as link on CCM login page. Now we are ready to assign IDP to customer. We can do it simply dragging newly registered IDP to customer. Let's log in to customer UI using new IDP. You can see that new admin has been created using roles and permissions defined in template. 